it's Kitty with Kitty Copenhagen Designs. And I wanted to show you my brand new little toy that I have been playing with. So I had a friend out to the paper station and she and her friend both own one of these Epson Picture Mate um, 400s. And as she was describing it, I was like, oh my gosh, I want one of those. So I went on Amazon and I ordered this machine. I ordered the glossy paper because she said that's what worked best. Um, I usually like to print my photos on matte, but I don't know, this is a small price to pay, I think. So I got four by six and I got some five by seven because this little machine will do both. And then, um, so these are the, they come like this, the photo paper. And then I ordered the uh, color ink cartridge. Now, I'm not saying that this will um, be cheaper or, you know, than ordering from Walgreens or Costco or Walmart or something like that, but the convenience of it cannot be beat. So you only end up printing exactly what you need. I have a, um, I think it's called PicMate. I'd have to look at what it's called, the app that I've been using. Epson has one too where you can print photos and let me grab one here. So this is one that I just printed out. Now these are photos that I have on my old laptop. And as far as I can tell this, well, since COVID really, I've been trying to go through all of my photos, put them all in chronological order and see what's missing. And I have gaps and I guess there were years when the kids were younger that I missed like getting my pictures developed. So I found some pictures on my old laptop. I went through some CDs I had and whatever. So I've been organizing. So these photos I've barely laid eyes on because these are from 2010 and I'm able to take them off that laptop. I actually end up emailing them to myself and then put them on my phone and upload from there. I don't know if there's a better way to do it than that, but that's been working for me. They turn out so well. So this one in the collage, I was able to get a three by four and then these two little ones, which I guess would be two by threes. Um, and then these, now these printed out the border and it might've been my camera or it might've been that I needed to upload them to my picture app and then print from there. But that's okay because I'm gonna make this into a four by four for my layout so that actually works okay. Um, and so let me show you what I did. Okay, so I'm going to set this aside. I went through some of my, and it folds up so nicely. You could take this with you to a crop. Um, I guess you just don't want to tip it, but, um, it's super convenient. It's so tiny and cute. I love it even just because of that. Okay, let me move this other way too. All right, so I went through, I had layouts, um, from, I think these are from last year. Um, let me see if I can get them on here right. And so I went through and looked at what, looking at the direction of my photos and what I needed, um, I was able to see um, which ones would work for this layout. Now, darn it, I'm missing a photo. Oh, I wonder if I left it. Oh, there it is. Okay. I loved this photo of the kids. We went to Great America and it was on their Halloween. Um, I don't know what they call that. I actually don't like it, but we went during the day. My sisters were here from Utah and we just wanted to go on the rides. So the cousins were together. And so I was able to go, okay, I'm gonna do a four by four here and a four by four here. I printed out some extras because I'll do different layouts. I did this one, but I also loved the serious picture of them. So I'm going to see if I can work that in right here. And then this is, you know, the moms and aunties. I did the little one because I thought I could pop that down here. Not exactly sure how I'm going to do that. And then this one will go here. So I was able to, um, you know, go through and see what would work. And then I had this layout already done. And you know, this is my trick about these is that if I want this to be a two by two, I'm gonna pick the middle, I mean a four by four. I'm gonna pick the middle, this is where I want the middle to be. And I line that up at my two inch mark. 
and then chop that off. Now I might have to trim that down ever so slightly because there is a border. You can choose to have a white border on here. Yeah, I am going to have to take that down a little bit. Or you can print it, you know, full. So this one did have this little white border and you can play with the border. You can make it bigger or smaller. So then that means I'll need to trim this down a little bit because I'm going to end up with a three and three quarter by three and three quarter, which is fine because then I'll just use that. It'll be double matted. This one, I wasn't sure that I could do that, but I think I can. She's over a little further. So I think I want about right here to be my middle. So I'll chop that. I think this um, blade is getting a little dull. I guess I should have, because I'm gonna need to trim this a little bit too. So then, I kind of don't want to chop off her hand. Hmm. I think I'm going to do that. Okay, so then that's there. And then this one, and isn't that like an unusual little size? I think that's so cute. So I'm going to do the... So my three by four will go right there. I guess that's the only thing if I want to keep everything matted, I'm going to have to trim that down. And let's see, I think I'll take, sometimes I just, I'll do one on one side and then finish it off on the other so that it's, okay, so now that will be double matted. And then these are the ones I don't really know exactly what I'm going to do with. I think sometimes you'll notice they don't, they're not like an exact, it seems like. Or sometimes I think it's the way I do this. I don't know. You got to make sure this is all the way up. This is a Creative Memories one. I also have one from Close to My Heart. And then you got to make sure you're slicing down. Okay, so those are just really cute. Okay. So, get rid of that. And then I probably want to trim this one down to get that one by one. But you can see, so here's where I'd like to get this in here. And I may have to see if I can pry up this one little, oh, I can. Okay. So I'm thinking I'll just get this little one right here. And then I'll add that like over there and then I'm thinking we moms and aunties will just go right down here and I'll put a border around that maybe so then I can do my journaling here and I have this layout complete with photos and I was able to print them right here from home so I just find that I just love that I'm so excited about it and I uh, just wanted to let you know so if you have any questions about that picture mate uh, 400 from Epson. Let me know. I think it prints beautiful pictures and um, I'm so happy with it. And I've been trying to like a couple times a week, pull out um, some photos that I want, look through my layouts and then print the photos for the exact sizes I needed. So, all right. I hope you have a great day and until next time. Bye-bye.